In this video, we're going to talk about how to first find the equation of a circle in standard form, or some books call it center radius form, and then how you actually use that formula. So what I want to do is I want to start with just a basic line segment. So just a line segment. And I want to take that line segment, that same length line segment, and I want to duplicate it around from this point right here. So I'm just going to draw a whole bunch of those and imagine these are the exact same length. These are the exact same line segments and I'm duplicating them. So my picture isn't going to be perfect, but hopefully you're getting the idea of what's happening as I continue to duplicate that line segment around from that point. I end up forming a circle. Now, this isn't a perfect circle. Um, actually, it's wobbly. But just imagine that it is a perfect circle because that's exactly what I would get if I duplicate that line segment. And so that is the definition of a circle. A circle is the set of all points that are equal distant from a middle point, a center point. So this was the point where I duplicated that line segment from. And so that point right there is actually called the center and then the line segment that I was duplicating is called the radius of the circle. And so what I want to do is I want to figure out how do I find the equation or how do I write the equation of the circle. And so I'm going to call for the consistency of the formula used in most textbooks. I'm going to call the center h comma k. And that's an ordered pair. h is just representing the x value of the center and k is representing the y value of the center. And I'm going to call the radius R. And so I can find the distance of the radius by using the distance formula. Also, I'm going to call any point represented on this circle XY. So all the points on the circle are XY. And so I want to use the distance formula. So D is equal to the square root of X2 minus X1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So the distance formula is just basically taking the square root of the difference of the x's squared plus the difference of the y squared. So instead of what I'm trying to find the distance of is the radius, so r. And if I take the dis difference of my x's, so remember this is my point hk. If I subtract my x's, I get x minus h squared. And if I take the difference of the y's, I get y minus k. Again, that's because this point right here is the point h comma k. So I subtracted the x's and I subtracted the y's and squared it. And so that's the distance formula. So I'm using the distance formula to find the radius. And so if I, so be consistent with the actual circle formula, standard form of the circle formula, I'm going to square both sides here. And so when I square both sides, that gets rid of the square root on the right side. It leaves me with r squared equal to x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. And this formula here is actually the equation of a circle in standard form, or as I mentioned earlier, some books, textbooks call it center radius form. And so this is the equation that we will be using to solve problems related to circles. For example one, we, found, we want to find or write the equation of a circle that has a center of 3, negative 1, and a radius of 4. So we want to write that equation in standard form. So, so our center, which is hk, is 3, negative 1, and our radius, which is r, is 4. And so what we want to make sure we know is that h is 3 and k is negative 1. And so basically all we want to do is take these and plug them into the center radius form of the equation of a circle. So recall that that equation is r squared equal to x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. So r is 4, replace r with 4. h is 3, replace h with 3. And k is negative 1. 4 squared is 16, that stays x minus 3 squared, and minus a negative y minus a negative 1 becomes y plus 1. So change this to y plus 1. And so the equation <clears throat> of the circle that has a center of 3, negative 1, and a radius of 4 
is 16 equal to x minus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared. Now, don't get confused if your radius is written on the other side. That's still exactly the same equation if it's written this way. So if it's written this way, that's still the same. You just switch to a side, the equal sign is on. So don't let that confuse you. But this will be your final answer of that equation of that circle in radius standard form or radius center form. Now, in order to graph this equation, you have to first start by plotting the center of the circle. Remember the center is three, negative one. So if I go to three and then down to negative one, here's my center. And then in order to plot it, you wanna go the distance of the radius up, the distance of the radius down, the distance of the radius right, and the distance of the radius left. So the radius is four. So that means I wanna go up four units, one, two, three, four, and put a point. I wanna go down four units, one, two, three, four, and put a point. I wanna go right four units, one, two, three, four, put a point. And I wanna go left four units, one, two, three, four, and put a point. And so that gives me four points on my circle. And so from here, I am going to attempt to draw a circle. So my circle's a little wobbly, but you get the point. That is that circle graph. So your center is three, negative one, and it has a radius of four. That's how you graph that circle. For example two, we wanna write the standard form of an equation that has n points, negative one, zero, and three, four. So we wanna write the equation of a circle in standard form that has n points, negative one, zero, and three, four. So if it has n points, negative one, zero, and three, four, then I'm just gonna plot those on the graph to see what they look like. So negative one, zero will be here, and three, four will be up here. So that means the circle is around that line right there. So that's the diameter. So if that's the diameter, then the center of that circle is gonna be at the midpoint of that diameter. It's gonna be directly in the middle. So this is the point negative one, zero. This is the point three, four. And so in order for me to find the center, I need to find the midpoint. Well, remember, recall that the midpoint formula involves you taking the average of the x's and the average of the y's. So add the x's together and divide them by two, and add the y's together and divide them by two. So you get two over two here, and you get four over two here, which gives you, I said two in row one. I think I was thinking ahead. So that gives you um, one comma two. So your center will be the point one comma two. So that is my H K. Also, the radius is gonna be, you can either find the distance of the diameter and divide it by two, or, so one, two is here, or you can find the distance from the center to one of those points. It doesn't matter which one. Um, so I'm gonna find the distance from three, four to one, two. I want to know the distance between those two. And so recall, recall that the distance formula is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So in order to find the radius, I would find the distance between those two points. So take the difference in your x's, 3 minus 1 squared, and the difference in your y's, 4 minus 2 squared. So that's the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared. That's the square root of four plus four, which is eight. So R is the square root of eight. So two squared is four, two squared is four, four plus four is eight. So your radius is the square root of eight. So now you know your center and now you know your radius. And so now you can plug them into the standard form of the equation of a circle. So remember that's R squared equal to X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared. R is the square root of eight, so replace R with the square root of eight. H is one, replace H with one. And K is two, so replace K with two. The square root and the square cancel out here, that gives you eight equal X minus one square plus Y minus two square. And so that there would be the equation of your circle in standard form, or again, as I mentioned earlier, some textbooks call that center radius form. Also, don't let it confuse you. Um, if the eight isn't on the left side of the equal sign, then just move it. 
to the right side of the equal sign. Those are the same thing. A is equal to that stuff. So regardless of what side of the equal sign you write it on, it's the exact same thing. Alrighty. So this is writing the equation. This is how you write the equations of circles in standard form. Um, so there is another form called general form. So make sure you check out the next video, which is writing the equations of circles in general form. So make sure you click on that video to watch it next.